What is up, my astronauts? Let's talk about NAC or in acetylcysteine and its effect on testosterone. Can it increase it or decrease it? Let's discuss it. So first of all, what is NAC? I'm pretty sure most of you are aware exactly what NAC is. In acetylcysteine is a supplement form of cysteine. It's a conditionally essential amino acid. The reason why it's conditional is because the body can create it. You don't need it, but under certain conditions, you need more of it. It's similar to kind of like taurine, right? The body can create it, but under certain circumstances, you need more of it. And this is where supplementation can be really helpful. This is what cysteine looks like that you get from the diet. This is in acetylcysteine that you, that they modify, that you supplement. And this is what glutathione looks like. Because glutathione is a combination of three amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamate. The ultimate goal of inacetylcysteine, or one of the goals, is to create glutathione, which is antioxidant, help to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, and therefore it can increase your testosterone. So in as an antioxidant, you can see that inacetylcysteine creates glutathione, but it also has a direct antioxidant effect. It doesn't just work indirectly by increasing glutathione, but also has an indirect effect by quenching free radicals and reducing oxidative stress. All right, so here are a few benefits of NAC that I'm just going to quickly run through. It boosts glutathione levels. It improves fertility. It, this is in humans as well. Prevents oxidative stress and inflammation. May help to stabilize your blood sugar. Support a healthy microbiome. It reduces respiratory symptoms in chronic lung disease like COPD. May enhance immune function by increasing glutathione and modulating inflammation. May reduce inflammation and symptoms related to influenza and viral illness. May help autoimmune conditions by reducing inflammation. NAC supports detoxification and protects your kidney and liver, especially if you're taking drugs like NSAIDs and so on. May reduce psychiatric and addictive disorders. May improve a brain health. NAC may help prevent heart disease. And finally, it may improve your penile health, help with erectile dysfunction, primarily because it reduces oxidative stress. There are some animal studies that have helped prevent fibrosis and it helps with penile hardness. And this is because when you have oxidative stress in the body, it damages the smooth muscles which then converts into fibrotic tissue and then causes contributes to erectile dysfunction. So NAC, by being an antioxidant, help against that, specifically in conditions where you have a massive amount of free radicals like diabetes, obesity, sleep apnea, we have toxins accumulated in the body like pesticides, heavy metals, and so on. All right, so there are two studies I want to talk to you about where they supplemented 600 milligrams of NAC for three months. As you can see, every single time, LH went from 4.6 to 4.2, testosterone went from 18.1 to 20.1, and then prolactin also decreased a little bit. So this is about a 50-point increase after three months of using NAC. It's nothing miraculous. A lot of testosterone-boosting herbs will give you the same boost, right? So this actually makes NAC a good testosterone booster because most testosterone-boosting herbs have the same efficacy. All right, so in terms of the second study that also used 600 milligrams of NAC for three months, it had also decreased LH a little bit and increased testosterone from 387 nanogram per deciliter up to 437 nanogram per deciliter, which is again like a 50 point increase. Nothing miraculous, it takes you three months to get a 50 point increase. And then prolactin in the study remained the same because it was already almost in the normal range. I prefer it to be under 10, closer to 7. So the point here is, yes, it can increase testosterone, but it's going to be very small. You, don't, you should not rely on NAC to increase your testosterone because like, the reason why your testosterone is low is because you have oxidative stress. And now NAC helps to blunt that a little bit. It doesn't completely get rid of it. Therefore, your testosterone goes up. So the reason why LH goes down and testosterone goes up is because the drop in LH signals that the testis is or it represents that the testis is more sensitive to the LH. So you don't need a lot of LH. So the first thing, when you start to get oxidative stress in the testis, LH goes up to compensate for the LH insensitivity that's been created. So by using NAC, you enhance LH sensitivity and LH goes down, testosterone goes up. In summary, you can see this is the two studies that are combined. LH goes down, testosterone goes up. This prolactin went down a little bit and prolactin remained the same in that study. So it's really not miraculous. But as I mentioned, like most testosterone booster herbs will be basically give you the same boost, depending on how the individual responds to that compound. So I would not rely on NAC as a testosterone booster, but a lot of people benefit from it, specifically if they have phlegm that needs to be broken up or they do have some oxidative stress. It is a useful compound to use. But it's just like most any other antioxidants. If you're going to use vitamin E or vitamin C or any other antioxidant, it will basically give you, give you the same benefit as snack.
So the whole emphasis here is that you should minimize your oxidative stress and improve your health as much as possible. If you would like me to do that, you can join the Tesla tribe where it's all about maximizing testosterone and it's where low testosterone goes to die. All my courses are on there, how to maximize your testosterone, DHT, lower estrogen, increase free testosterone, lower SSPG, all of those kind of stuff. All my courses are on there. When you sign up, you also get a free call with me to help you personalize everything. So if you want to maximize your testosterone and your health from all angles, that's the place to be. All right, guys, so I hope you learned something new and I will check you in the next one. Cheers, guys. <laughs>